I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to this series on linear law. We have an excellent question which will give you a fairly good idea of how to work with problems involving linear law. The question here is, the variable x and y are related by the equation ay equals to x plus bx squared. When the graph of y over x is plotted against x, the resulting line has a gradient of y and an intercept on the y-axis of 0.5. Calculate the value of a and y and sketch the graph. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now, let me start by sketching the graph as it might give you a better understanding of the question itself. So, so we'll take uh, some points on this axis, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? And some points here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now what you read here is that when the graph of y over x is plotted against x, that means we have y over x here along the y x, vertical axis and x along the horizontal axis. Correct? Now, it says when the graph of y over x is plotted against x, the resulting line has a gradient of 5 and an intercept of on the y over axis, y over x axis of 0 0.5. So the intercept is 0 0.5. Okay, that means this which is 0 0.5 is the intercept. You get the idea. So this point here is 0 0.5. So that is the question, right? When you say gradient of 5, that means rise over run. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1. So next point is this one, correct? So joining these two points, you get your graph. So we can just join these points to get the graph. So I've done the second part first, only to give you a good understanding of the question itself, right? Now, we'll apply the linear law method to convert the nonlinear function into a linear by transformation, right? So we have ay equals to x plus b x square so we'll try to convert this into the form y equals to m capital x plus c so m is your gradient which is 5 and c is 0 0.5 correct so what we are given here is m equals to 5 and c equals to 0 0.5 which we have shown here correct now, what is M and what is C? We should be able to find that part also. So for that, I have to rearrange the terms in the given equation. We have to get Y over X. To get Y over X in this equation, we should divide all the terms by X. So that is our first step. So we have AY equals to X plus BX squared. We are going to divide each and every term by X. So once you do that, you get a times y over x equal to 1 plus bx, right? Now, in this form, we need capital Y, which is y over x. So I have to divide by a also, right? So I get y over x as equal to 1 over a plus b over ax. To write in that form, we can rearrange and write this as y over x equals to b over a x plus 1 over a. Is that correct? So that is how we can write the given equation. Now if you compare, you can see that y over x is y, gradient is b over a. So from here, you know, 
m is equal to b over a correct and c the intercept on y over x is 1 over a so we have c as 1 over a right so 1 over a is equal to c since we are given the gradient and the intercept we can find both a and b right so let's solve them to get our solution right so we can now solve these two so from here we know c is 0 0.5 so 1 over a which is which is half correct is equal to half so a is equal to 2 m is 5 so we can write this here 5 equals to b over a is 2 so 2 times 5 is 10 is equal to b correct so we get both the values a and b so that is how we can get our solution right so so the equation could now be written as y over x equals to b over a which is 10 over 2x plus 1 over 2 which is 0 0.5 do you see that so you get what was expected which is y over x is equal to 5x plus 0 0.5 so that is what was given to us correct so it is checked that it is the correct value so our answer in this case is that b equals to 10 and a equals to 2 perfect so that is how you can solve it and this is how you can graph it so i hope that helps feel free to write your comments and share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best